Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. And yeah, things, well, at the moment it's paused, so let's um, unpause it for a minute. Now, we're kind of making some progress, kind of. Um, I've been told that unless I can find a permanent supply of water though, uh, it will eventually grind to a halt anyway. It's kind of... A, pointless continuing on forever if it does eventually grind to, you know, if, if you can't find this permanent water source. Now we do have, it looks like, some man-made objects down here. So I don't really know what this is. It would be interesting to find out. I've got various gases here that seem dangerous and then all this slime up here. This apparently you can mine and you can turn it into other things, but you've got to be careful with it. You do have to be very careful with it. So at the moment we're waiting on some of this stuff being tidied up. I, can't, I need polluted water to be removed. I'm not exactly sure how I should... I've got like this area here, but I still don't know how to get people to put the water in this area. So, you know, I could have like a, a cage for polluted water. I've got the algae terrarium there. Let me just go for the oxygen overlay. So the algae terrarium is currently turning that carbon dioxide there into something else. Um, now what I'm thinking is if I could remove like a couple of bits there, could I get them to tip the water in there? I don't know how to get them to tip the water in. That's, that's kind of my main issue. I also need plenty of copper. Now I've got loads of copper down here. I've got some carbon dioxide. I've also got some oxygen coming in here. We've got oxalite there that is slowly um, converting stuff. I've got some buried muck roots. Um, I've got loads of algae. Um, in here we've got an unbreathable vacuum. More algae down here. So I've got loads of useful stuff down here. I just kind of need to get it oxygenated. Um, it's barely breathable, but it is breathable. So I've got all of these items here. So we've got a storage compactor. Now, I'm not sure how I go about... Um, I can put filtration medium in there. I'm not sure how I go about... I don't think you can get them to put liquid in here. I can get them to put everything else in. I can just say all. And I'm going to do that for these at the moment. Um, like that. I'll put all into these. And there. Just keep going back through. So it should allow them to start putting some of the stuff in here without causing us loads of problems. Now, there was one other thing that I wanted to do. Oh, hang on. I've got, um, what's this? A cure for everything but the common cold. Uh, have I got some more tasteful memorial? No research task selected. Well, let me just get a research task underway. Um, right, now this is the duplicate traffic control. Duplicant. Advanced automation, advanced power regulation, generic sensors, internal combustion. Converts coal into electric power, hydrogen gas into power. Uh, medical research, that will improve things there. Decontamination. Uh, there was something I wanted to sort of sort out. Uh, liquid shutoff. Oh, hang on, no, I remember what, somebody did say there was a way to do this. Right, algae distiller. Refined slime into algae. Right, we want to be able to do that. And it produces clean water from polluted water using sand. We want to go for that one, I think. This one right here. That takes um, novice research and intermediate research. We've got both of those unlocked, so that should be able to come through. We can do that. So I'll set that one going there. And, right, this here, liquid pump. What is this waiting on? No liquid output. Pump not in liquid. I'm still waiting on this. I'm waiting on some stuff down here. Some Ah, there they go. Picked up water. They're, they're slowly building everything. They're slowly putting it together. We've, we, we've got everything kind of being built here. Bit by bit. There we go. Right, so that's um, pump not in water. Pick some stuff up. Why is it not in water? It should be. It's now in there. Liquid pump, pump not in liquid. It's, it's there. The pump is in the liquid. Why isn't it working? It should be on the here, shouldn't it? Uh, right, hang on. Let me go to plumbing. And liquid pipe. So yeah, I've got a liquid pipe that's running down through there. That's going, that might not be deep enough. I might need to go down a little bit further in order to get this to work properly. So, then it will actually um, be in the right place. So I want to put... I want to put that down there like that. And then I also want to put another ladder down here. So you can, Oh, he's going to be able to do it without me doing anything else, is he? Let me put that one in there like that. See what they do. I don't know. I think that they might be able to do that. 
I'm not 100% certain. We'll sort of see about that. Now, I've got this area here, and I think I'd like to try to do something with it. Um, in particular, I'd like to try and empty out the water. Um, I've got the algae. Oh, no, it was, it was here I was going to try and build it. So what I want to do is I want to go and dig this out here like this. Do the, Actually, I want to um, cancel that one there. Uh, cancel that one. There. So what they'll do is they should do that bit there. And... Right, is that going to build? Is that going to build what I need it to build? This, they're, they're building the steps there. Which is what I wanted them to do. And then they've got that. This is still saying it's not in liquid. Or does the actual liquid pump itself need to be underwater? That might be it. Because I got the pipe. The pipe is in there now. Liquid pipe is in there. Oh. I think maybe I need to actually put that one in the water. Right. Let's go and deconstruct it then. Deconstruct that. I'm going to deconstruct all of this. The whole lot. There we go. Right, I've done some deconstructing. Then what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to try and turn this in. i got water there. Just normal water. If I deconstruct that one there, I think, I want a bottle emptier. I don't, I don't need that bottle emptier there. I don't think that actually does anything. I can deconstruct that one like that. And then, as far as I know, I take the bottle emptier from here, and I put this one in there like that. That one goes over the top, and it should then empty into this area underneath. Is that Have I got that right? I think that's how you do it. We will soon find out. We'll let them finish sleeping their night. And I've got all of this up here. Apparently, this is wasted power. I don't actually need that to be um, lit, so I can actually deconstruct those lights there i don't need them at all and you come out of there carbon skimmer no liquid intake i'm not worried about the carbon skimmer at the moment it's liquid intake and output so we'll we'll kind of deal with that a bit later on the algae deoxidizer up there maximum gas pressure Right, I got very breathable up there i got people working down here they're all coming in here to have a little go i'm actually removing more stuff than I intended to remove here, but that's okay. We'll, we'll let them carry on removing it. We'll take all of that out. Got the pump. They can jump across. If you could finish just de deconstructing that one, I think I may have to put the pump underwater. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I've got some polluted water there. Right, that one's been removed. If I now go into plumbing and I go to bottle emptier, can I put the bottle emptier down like that? Or do I just put it like that? I'm going to try putting it there, and I'm going to see what it does. I've got a wire there. Let me deconstruct that wire. I don't actually want that one there. Deconstruct you. And I've got... A deconstruct there as well, I think. I'll let them deconstruct that. Oh, he needs a toilet. So that's, that's why he's running away. He, needs, he desperately needs the loo. Um... So if we've got this one here, the bottle emptier, invalid building location. Why is that an invalid building location? Uh, well, that makes no sense. So cancel that one then. And then go back to plumbing. Go to bottle emptier. And is that any good there? Awaiting material delivery. So if I put the bottle emptier like that, does is that how it works? Does it kind of... I thought that it kind of the bottle went in, but maybe the bottle sits in the top and then it goes. But if it goes like that, uh, invalid building location. So how do you... how does the bottle emptier work? I'm going to have to cancel that one again. It doesn't like it. So I'm going to go back to... No, I, I've got a better idea. I'm going to try building it down here. I'm going to try and stick it there and see what that does. See if that is kind of the right place there. I've got copper ore down there. I don't want to be putting copper ore down there. I've got people hopping and skipping around all over the place here. So then I can go back to plumbing and I go to liquid pump. Now, do I need to put this underwater? I'm going to try putting it there and see what that does. 
I will eventually have to put some wires through to it. That's fine. I can do that in a minute. I'll uh, take a ladder and drop that one in there. This one here wants a tile to go over it. Like that. And I'm curious about this one here. I mean, yeah, it's unbreathable under there, but how do we get the ball? It doesn't... I am kind of limited on doing this. It's a very steep learning curve, and it's difficult to kind of understand exactly how I'm supposed to do these things. Um, what are we doing on research? Currently researching... Oh, it's still um, busy doing that one. It's uh, 17 to 20 and 19 to 30 on there. So we're doing okay on the research there. This one here, we've got uh, lots of breathable oxygen around here. Let me go for the oxygen overlay. I've actually, it's just fine at the moment for oxygen. I can remove that algae terrarium. That it seems to be wasting. It'll be a waste of algae. If you if you don't use it, I'll deconstruct that one. Apparently, the algae terrariums, they are a complete waste if you don't um, need them in, in place. If you sort of put them in a place that you don't, 100% need them, it's an absolute waste and you don't want to be worrying about it. Now, I've got the bottle emptier here. Auto bottling off. So, let me go here. Element filter. Allow storage of anything in a liquid resource category. Um, sweep only. Let me go there on sweep only and see what that does. Now, does this bottle emptier store the water or does it just... I think it actually drops it down in here. It'll dump it into that area there. Um, I want to go to not mop. I want to go to sweep. I'm going to sweep that area there and sweep that bit up as well. So they will come and pick that up. Now, I've got this liquid pump here that's still awaiting material delivery. I've got these are being picked up. Some copper ore there. Well, they'll take that over to this one. Excellent. They're going to drop that in there. And I'm still waiting on some copper ore. I've got loads of copper ore down here, so I don't really have much issues in the way of waiting for copper ore. Um, we've got breathable oxygen down the bottom as well. Now, this here, using polluted dirt. I was told that I should be put. I should have a storage in here for the polluted dirt as well. And I can't actually put those tiles in because they are a different kind. Um, the slime. Let's not worry about that. Right, they're putting stuff in there. They're, they're moving the swept stuff. I've got liquid pump there. Is awaiting. I've got copper down here that I'm waiting on them to come and get. So hopefully they'll come and grab that fairly soon. And what is going on here? i got carbon dioxide in there. Loads of it. Not really worried about the carbon dioxide. So is the bottle emptier? Are they going to bring this polluted water and drop it down in here? That's what I want to know. And do they? how do they operate that thing? And have I got it right as well? I may have that one wrong. So I've got this liquid pump now. I've actually set it down into the water. Maybe that is what I had wrong previously with this one. Although I thought that the pipe, if you brought the pipe out the bottom, that would kind of make sense that it would work like that. Uh, electrolyzer, no liquid intake, empty pipe. So what does the electrolyzer do? Produces oxygen and hydrogen using water. Right, that's great and all. I got carbon dioxide here. I got masses of carbon dioxide, mainly because of this. And then this one here, the carbon skimmer, filters carbon dioxide from the air. It produces no breathable air, right? So all it does is removes the carbon dioxide out of the air. I got another duplicate coming there from the printing pod. I'm going to wait for a little while. I've been advised not to go overboard with that. Right then. We've now moved the pump. We take this pump here. I think it comes out of that bit. That was what's this here? Is that it there? What does what does that do? I've got no idea how this. I don't know where it comes supposed to come out of. I got this. That looks like it's kind of like the the bit that's supposed to come out there. Uh, if I bring a, a pipe up there, what does that do? Um, pitcher pump, bottle emptier, lavatory. Liquid pump. Draws in liquid and runs it through pipes. Mu oh, must be submerged in liquid. Yeah, it would help if I actually read the tooltips. Um, so I've got that there. I don't actually want this pipe down here at all, do I? Uh, cancel that build and cancel that build. And well, what I do want is I want some power. So I need to take a wire and there's the power point there. So I want to bring that one over there like that. Right, so power will come through, and I've got pipes here that should... They're coming up there. I've got liquid pipe coming up here. 
and as soon as the pump is on so then we've got this pitcher pump right so how do I get the actual pump to pump the water into where the pitcher pump is going can only carry bottled liquids so I could like put that in uh, maybe run it into hygienically relieve themselves in a lavatory the outhouse relieve themselves requires no piping must be periodically empty to polluted dirt so I could have a lavatory and then that could let's try that one there a minute let's just see what they do with the lavatory I'm curious about this now so I've got power take the wire that's all running over that's fine so that one is working we've got the liquid pump pipe blocked plumbing liquid pipe yeah it's got actually nowhere to run out from so if I do that actually, I don't want to do that I want to do that and then I want to get rid of cancel that one and I also want to deconstruct the liquid pipe on there there and no I don't want to just deconstruct anymore it's just that liquid pipe that I want to deconstruct there that should then go into our new outhouse and that should be fine but this one here still not working why aren't they doing anything with this one let's go here I've got sweep only in here I can go allow storage of all resource categories in this container and I've got sweep only there but they won't pick it up I've set it to sweep and they still haven't picked it up so let me try just going all oh I see right you can click ah there we go so if I take the water off and I just do polluted water and I'll take off of sweep only I'll do polluted water there so that's I see right now I'm starting to get the idea of this it does help as you slowly sort of get through it you can sort of um, so I've got filtration medium consumables and then I got uh, like cultivable soil I've got dirt organic is polluted dirt and rock pile so what I want to do is actually want to put polluted dirt in there and rock pile as well I'm gonna put both of those in um yeah Polluted dirt is, is the big storage thing. I want to put polluted dirt in here. So I'll actually remove that end there. Why aren't you deconstructing? Deconstruct. I'm not really sure why it's uh, refusing to deconstruct that. Uh, oh, it's because I've set it to only liquid pipes. Right. That would help. If I do that, there we go. I can um, destroy that. And then I can actually move it out a little bit. Because I want to do one more storage area in there. I've got my base. I want a storage container. And I'm going to drop that one right in there as soon as they finish deconstructing. There we go. Right, they've deconstructed. Now I can put that in there. Insufficient oxygen generation. And I want to build the new base tiles. I want to put them up there like that on the edge. So I've got that bit being put. And then I can put the dirty stuff that goes into that storage compactor there. It'll only be that storage compactor. And there we go. Look. That's how it works. The bottle goes upside down in the top and it sticks the dirty stuff in there. I've got this algae terrarium kind of fighting off the... Um, using up the carbon dioxide coming out of here. And that's a dirty water storage. So we've got polluted water moving in there. But I still need to do something with the rest of it. So I've got all this polluted water here. That's brilliant. I don't know how long it takes to empty it out. Polluted water. No idea, but it should slowly fill this up. I don't know if I can get them to dig out a little bit more of this and, like, expand that one out. Right, the lavatory. No liquid intake. Empty pipe. Well, I need a liquid intake then. Uh, plumbing. Liquid pipe. That, oh no, that's, that's coming out, isn't it? That's the liquid intake that I want to go to. I want to go there like that. Which means I need to deconstruct liquid pipes there and there, like that. So I need to deconstruct those so that I've got this lavatory in place. Then they should, once I've removed those, they'll build these bits in here. So I'll take that bit out and they'll put those bits in. They'll put those pipes in. I then need a dirty pipe coming out. I need a soil pipe coming out of here. Empty pipe, no liquid output. So I've got water coming in. That works. And now I can go plumbing. And I can go liquid pipe. Right, how do I get the pipe to come out? I want to go there. I need a liquid bridge. So I want to put... 
Oh, no. I didn't mean to press R for research. That's all right. We'll do improved plumbing. Liquid tuning. What's this? Uh, cools the liquid pipe through it. Warms large bodies of liquid. Insulated liquid pipe. Decontamination. Nullifies polluted oxygen. Kills a significant amount of germs present on raw ore. Right, so I want that decontamination one next, I think. Close that. Right, I don't know how to use the liquid bridge, really. I would say I kind of want to um, have some stuff coming out of here. Um, right, liquid pipe. That's the that's the output there, isn't it? That's the input. And that's the green one is the output. So I kind of need this to run down here like this. And then in there. Is that how that works? Is that going to be enough just to have it running out that way? Uh, I didn't mean to do any of that. Let me... Cancel all of that. Cancel. Cancel. Right. Um, let me go back to plumbing. Liquid pipe. So I've got this liquid bridge here. Which... I don't know how to... Oh. No. Uh, click to build and then rotate. Right. If I do that, it doesn't do anything. If I right click, it doesn't do anything. I want to move it round. I want to have it the other way round. Oh, O to rotate. There, I see it right now in very, very small letters. O to rotate. So if I put that one there like that, there is my liquid bridge. So I come out of there. And then I can go back to plumbing and I go to liquid pipe. And I can draw that down like that so that it goes to there. And I'm going to take that one out to there. I don't know if this is the right way to do this. I don't know if I should be, like, moving it out and then dropping it down there or not. I, I have no idea at the moment. We'll soon find out, though, and we'll see if we can get this lavatory to work. If I can get this lavatory to work today, that would be absolutely sensational. I've got this area here. This guy sat in the polluted water, busy building this. He's, he's doing a great job. Um, right, so this is slightly toxic. Oh, that's the air in here, isn't it? I want to keep this area secure and... Oh, we've got more dirty water is being emptied into this. We've got a nice... We've got this area of dirty water. We've got liquid bridge, bridge there. Lavatory contents empty is the liquid pipe. So let me go on to the lavatory here a minute. Um, disable building. Hygienically. Lavatories transmit fewer germs to duplicate skin and require no manual emptying. But how do they empty? This is the, this is the big question. Right. Insulated liquid pipe. Shower. Improves duplicate hygiene and removes germs. Uh, right, well, I've got this kind of set up, but I'm not really sure if that is right. Should I just have that, like, going off to nowhere like that? Or do I need to do something else with it? What have we got here? Insufficient resources. That needs water. Picked up 600 kg of sandstone. But this one sat in water. So I kind of want to do something with the water there. I've got this liquid bridge coming down here, and I've got this is slowly emptying in the polluted water. Have I got the lavatory right? I don't know if anybody's actually used my new lavatory that I've set up. I'm sure there's supposed to be something off the end of that. I don't know if it's actually a bottle emptier or if it's supposed to be a bottling... You know, it's not a pitcher pump. I genuinely have no idea. Let me go on to here. Right, uh, contents currently empty. Disable auto repair. Disable disinfect. Carries liquid between output and intake. Can be run through tiles. I need something to, like, output there, don't I? Water sieve. Reduces clean water from polluted water using sand. Right, I've got clean... I've got polluted water down here. I've got loads of it. And they're picking up sandstone. They're um, busy doing stuff with that. I've got compost over here. I've got the algae distiller. Refine slime into algae. That's another great uh, thing that we're going to be using very soon. Um, ventilation is gas filters. Draws in gas, runs it through pipes. They're busy swimming. They'll be fine. Um, med base. Wash basin sink. Nope. Right, I think... Right, I've got to switch. Oh, turn power on and off does not affect um, anything else. And hydrogen generator, coal, power... Right, we are going to go with ore scrubber. There's something that I want. Right, kills a significant amount. Yeah, that's in the process of being researched at the moment, isn't it? Um, 
yeah, what I want is this water sieve, I think. I've still got nothing coming through here, so why aren't they using my lavatory? Assign to Devon. Right, status assigned. Can I not assign other people to it? Why aren't you using the lavatory? Yeah, look look at these play. This is absolutely disgusting in here. So you, you don't need to keep using this. Let me go into this one. And this one here is going to be... Uh, which one was it? Cultiv not cult cultivable soil. Organic polluted dirt only in there. That will take all polluted dirt. So they can take the polluted dirt and they can dump it in there. They are cleaning stuff. So we come back over here. We've got this one. This one is now emptying out. And we've got our polluted water area in here. We've got food poisoning. We've got various other issues. Um, but if I go to utility, not utilities, refinement, and I go to the water sieve, produces clean water from polluted water using sand, produces polluted dirt. Uh... Right, I, I need kind of a big processing unit for this. I need more area. Okay, let me get rid of that one a second. We're going to turn this air, we're going to turn this bit here into it. I've got fertilizer there. So I'm going to expand out my little area here. Now, I've got a load of beds up here. I've, I've found out that I don't need to be assigning beds either. That's not like a major issue. I've got polluted oxygen up there. But I still got I got oxygen up here. So it's it is kind it's working all right with oxygen and stuff. I'm not overly concerned about that. Um oh I've got no algae. Algae is a problem. If I can, I've completely run out of algae, haven't I? Uh, insufficient resources, water. No, not there. Maximum gas pressure. Oh no, this gas pressure is alright down here. So it's water that it's not putting in. Um, I got that bottle emptier there. But no, I think that they just bottle it up from the pump here and then they carry on from there. Oh, maybe I can't actually get across here. I need to go base and uh, what's the mesh tile do? Used as floor and wall tire does not obstruct liquid or gas flow. Okay, we'll do that. I'll put those two in there like that. That will go over to the pump. They should be able to get to the pump. I think maybe they weren't getting to the pump properly. And I want to come back over this side. Now, they came down there, so I'm hoping that I could also dig that bit out down there. If I can dig that out, I can make this a little bit deeper. Then what I want to do is I actually want to come over this side, and I want to start building an extra layer down here. So, um, we'll just go for ordinary tiles here at the moment. One, two, three, four, and then a gap. So I'm going to go all the way along here to that far. I'm not going to go... Actually, I'm, I'm going to go a little bit further. I'm going to go up like that to one there. And then I'm going to put a ladder on there like that. And I'm going to then dig out all of this stuff in the middle. I'm going to dig you out. And I'm going to dig out all of this stuff over here as well. Like that. And I'm going to deconstruct those up there. Those three like that. So that will allow everything to sort of run through in different ways. Now, I've got loads of carbon dioxide. Uh, the polluted water has finally been picked up. It's coming down in here. It's being slowly dribbled down into this. So this is excellent. We are getting rid of it eventually. This here, a copper. Oh, crumbs. That's expensive. And I've used up my current copper supply. So what I'll do is I'll actually um, order them to dig some more copper all the way along here. Um... Just along the bottom there for a minute. I don't think I need to worry about them digging up anymore. I also want them to go and dig up some algae. Now, I've got some algae down here, like little algae veins. Uh, there's one piece there, and there's a piece up there as well. But I've also got a big lot of algae over here. Now, I've got like this great big sort of um, area in there. So I'm actually going to go, and I'm going to deconstruct that one there. And then I'm going to go into the base area, and go to ladder... And I'm going to build that up through there. And then once I've done that, we'll then go and we're going to dig out all of the algae here. I'm going to leave that bit because I don't want to go into that water just yet. Go there. And all of that. And all of that. So I've got loads and loads of algae coming in. Right, research complete at last. Uh, let me go to... Hang on, was it in utilities? No, ore scrubber, that was still doing, wasn't it? Requires decontamination research. Now, what do you do? Oh, insufficient water. Research there. 
That one's still working. I, I still need the decontamination. So we're, we're waiting on some water there. Those have now been built, so I should now have enough water coming over here. They should be able to come running over to that one, grab some water, bring it back. But they're still not using this. They're slowly working their way through this bit down here, and they're also working their way through this up here. I want another ladder to go in there to finish that bit off. So then I've got all the algae that I could possibly want by mining out that area up there. Now food is something else that I've not really been keeping. I've got mush bars there. I've got lice loaf being made continuously. So I think I'm actually okay for food at the moment. Uh, just putting edible stuff in. Uh, say that it's got anything in it or not. I've got polluted water there. More polluted water could go in here, I think. They're running water around like lunatics. Right, so why aren't they using the lavatory? Not pumping. Contents, 10, key, 10 kg of polluted water. Right, so I don't think the polluted water actually drops into there. The polluted water will go into my polluted water decontamination thing that I'm about to build over this side. I will sweep that water there. And that'll be brought down and gotten rid of. I've also got some polluted water over here that I want to sweep as well. This area, this one storage compact is not taking anything at the moment. I'm going to do some more sweeping. Uh, let me sweep everything there that can be swept. So it'll force the polluted water to be removed. And I've got... I've got muckroot in there. Right, that's been dug out. We've got polluted water will be brought in here and it'll be dropped into that little hole there. Now, I've got a load of water on this, so I actually want to mop that up. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go right the way along there and I'm going to get them to mop all of that. So hopefully that last little bit of water will be cleared up. I've got more down here that I want to mop as well. I'm not sure where that's come from. So let me mop that there. And they should gather that up. Yeah, they got they got that and they're going to put it into water. Now, this water is actually clean water, so it should be okay. I've got more disinfect, uh, dirty water running in there. That pipe there, I'm going to bring back over and up and then down. As soon as they finish this bit here, I've got another job. Let me go up here. Yep, plenty of algae coming in. No shortages of that anywhere. So, really, water is going to be a big concern for me fairly soon. But I do have... Another thing of water up here. So we, we've got some water that we can um, rely on. And then I've got this polluted water here. And fortunately, I've now got this other decontamination. Not the ore scrubber. I want... Nope, not that one. Plumbing. Refinement, it is. Water sieve. Produces clean water from polluted water using sand and produces polluted dirt. Right, I'm going to drop that one right down in there. So I've got the input and output... Uh, I need to press O to rotate them round. Uh, so the input for dirty water comes in on that side. And then the output for clean water goes on to the other side. So I'm going to put that like that. Now, I'm not sure how exactly I'm supposed to do this. But um, we can kind of guess our way through it as we normally do. So if I take the pipe here... And I go up like that, and then I'll move this along, and I will come down into there. So there is my dirty water running straight into this decontamination thing. And I've got a dirty water supply there. I think that I could probably put the pump and run that straight up into there. So that would also work it. Then I need the water to come out again. Now, it doesn't go through a pitcher pump. It carries liquid between outputs and intakes is the liquid pipe. It's the one that I'm running. Um, ooh. I got new stuff. Airflow tile, pneumatic door, without blocking liquid. Uh, mechanized airlock, blocks liquid and gas flow, maintaining pressure between areas, set duplicate access permissions for area restriction, functions as manual airlock when no power is available. So I can put that in there and this here isn't going to get all the oxygen flowing in there and like getting dirty air and stuff in here, which I think would probably be a good idea. So... We'll worry about that in a minute. And maybe I could airlock this hit area here as well. Right, so I need power for this one. Let's get the power down here first. Go to there, and I want to go wire. Right, all i got to do is just run that down the ladder, and then in there like that. Okay, so that's that bit taken care of. 
Then I need... Right, supercomputer, no research task is selected. So we finished doing that decontamination research. Uh, improved plumbing. Automatically turns off... It's my timer going off. Liquid flow on automation technology. Let's go and see what else we've got. We've got refined objects here. Brute force refinement. Produces sand from raw minerals. I might need a lot of sand soon. Automation. Power shut off. Signal switch. Automation wire bridge. Uh, coal generator. Converts coal into electrical power. Which is actually going to be a really good idea. Uh, pressure management. Airflow tiles. Gas valve. Liquid valve. Manual airlock. Slated tiles. I really don't know what I should be using now. I've got gas shut off. So I've got meal preparate electric grill. Cooks improved food using many ingredients. Gives one duplicate a place to eat at a mess table. A farm tile grows a single plant when sown with a seed. Can be used as a floor tile and rotated before construction. Maybe we should go for that. I've got a load of planters at the moment. Let's go for the internal combustion. We'll go for that one first so that we've got a better uh, power supply coming in. And we can worry about some other things in, in a little while. So I've got power coming in there. And I've got the dirty water pipes coming in as well. No wire connecting, no liquid intake. What do you mean no liquid intake? I've set that to a liquid intake. Didn't I? Have I set that to the output? Uh, yeah, that's the output, isn't it? I did that the wrong way around. Well, uh, that's just great. Um, how do I change that round then? Can I... I don't think I can rotate it now that I've finished building it. I can go deconstruct on there. Just a minute. Um, but this one here, if I press O on that one, does it rotate it round? I'm going to have to deconstruct that and build it again. That's what I'm going to have to do. So if I deconstruct that one, then allow it to be rebuilt and make sure that I get it the right way around. The green is the output. That's what I got wrong there. So the lavatory is not pumping at the moment. That should then pump down into there. I've got this liquid thing working. I've got loads of algae up here. They've mined all of the algae out. Uh, I've got a load of copper down here. So we've got a supply of copper. I've got the oxalites currently producing me some oxygen. Generally speaking, we're doing all right here. I do have this issue here with the carbon dioxide. I would like to try to do something about that. Draws in gas and runs it through pipes. Must be immersed in gas. Right, well, we're in gas here. Um, carries gas between output and intake. Gas vent. Releases gas from pipes. Sieves one gas from the air, sending it into a dedicated pipe. So a gas filter would be a good idea. I've got a carbon skimmer here. That needs liquid. I think... Um, I don't know about that one. Right, they've deconstructed this one down here for me. So while they're sleeping, I'm going to put the next uh, refinement. I'm going to put this water sieve back. And... Right, intake is green, isn't it? No, that's output. I keep thinking that's the intake, but it's not. It's the output. So I want to rotate that one round so that I've got it this way here, like that. So that the intake is right over on this side there. And then I can take my plumbing and I can go to my liquid pipe and I can run that straight down and that will go in there like that. So that will go in. But then how do I get the stuff to come out again? That's what I need to... Uh, let me just get the wires. Wire there. That's actually over that side so I can... I'm going to remove that one power wire there. Remove you. And then if I go back to power wire there I can run it in underneath and go around there like that. So that will be plugged in, and I've removed that little bit that's coming out there. And that one will then run. So then what I need is a way to... Right, that's pipe blocked. Not pumping, pipe blocked. Which pipe is blocked? Does it actually say which pipe is blocked? Why aren't you pumping? Pipe is blocked somewhere. Let me just... Does it say where it's... But piping... Pipe blocked... Pipe system is not serviceable. So let me go into here. Lavatory, not pumping. Uh, let me go to pipe a minute. Plumbing, here. And liquid pipe. Right, so that's in and then that's out, isn't it? So yeah, that, that's in there. And then the other one is... I think it might just be because it's full. So if that runs into there and it runs into that side, it will then run through again. Uh, temperature, thermal comfort, light... Plumbing overlay. 
ventilation. Right, output pipe, building intake, and filtered output pipe. Huh? What's the difference? Filtered output pipe. That's exactly the same symbol. Since filtered liquid into pipes and output pipe there. I uh, see, that one goes into there, which it does. And then it comes out of that one and it goes into the building. Well, that's the lavatory one that it's got there. But I don't know what it's um, going into over there. I don't know what that one is. Let me see. That's the ore scrubber. And refinement. Algae distiller. Refined slime. No. Power. Oxygen. Ooh, what's this? Electrolyzer produces oxygen, hydrogen using water. So I could just put it straight into that one. And then I've got a carbon skimmer over there. It filters carbon dioxide. So if I produce oxygen and hydrogen with the water um, output a high volume of oxygen and a reliable source of air I can put that one there and that will run right into it let's try this have I got another I've got another one of those over there but I don't have a pipe coming into it that's the problem um, let me switch off the overlay there no liquid intake empty pipe so then if I go to plumbing liquid pipe there and put that one into there like that. That should then run through all of them. It should flow through the whole lot. I'm just going to wait and let this lot build because that is just about all we got time for today. And I need a drink. All I'm waiting for at the moment is that there to be built. I've got everything else is running quite nicely. And I am literally just waiting on stuff to be built. Now, new duplicates are available. I've done... I've set some more research going I'm doing some medical research and at the moment I don't really know what the holdup is I've got construction task assigned on there it's awaiting some material but I got copper down here that's all fine down there um, I've got oxygen down here which is breathable it's all breathable down there so I'm just kind of waiting on... They are still running around like lunatics going to the lavatory and then coming out again and going back to the lavatory and so on and so forth, which does take a little bit of time. But um, we've got all of these meal lights here, so they've got plenty of food. Food is not really a problem. Um, I'm actually going to assign some more mealwood plants in these. And there was a way that I could do... Oh, copy settings. There. Copy and just do it like that. There. So I've got plenty of food being produced at the moment. I'm just waiting on this. I want them to come in and build this. If you could just finish building this, then we can go. Because I, I want to sort of complete today's episode. I'd like to be able to get all of that done there. It'll be done. It'll be finished. Um, I've got the pipe coming through. I've got my new lavatory there waiting to be tested. Uh, the electrolyzer. There's no actual need for the electrolyzer. So I'm going to deconstruct that one a minute. Um, because we've got the new electrolyzer being built down here. So I've got this one here is liquid pipe construction task assigned. Where are they? They should be bringing stuff now to it. I've got things being unassigned and they are gathering up the copper ore. And I've got a load of copper ore down here and they should be able to reach that. There's nothing sort of stopping them from getting there. I got a bit of carbon dioxide there, but that's not going to be much of an issue. And we've got... It might be some of this material down here. They need to remove it out of the way. No, I don't think so. That shouldn't be, that shouldn't be blocking them at all. That shouldn't be in the way. Um, you're bringing the millwood seat. Oh, no, you're picking up dirt. They're running back through. Maybe I need to assign... So I tell you what, let's get a new... Let's go to choose a duplicate. I'm supposed to be finishing up by now. And I need to find a name. I did have another name written down somewhere. I'm just trying to find my piece of paper that I had these names written on. Here we go. I've got, I've got it. Um, now, we have uh, Ross White was someone that gave me some very useful information. So we will have Ross White. Now, we've got a runner. Uh, construction. I want construction right. This guy's got plus one construction. Pacifist. Food quality. Decor expert. He's an ugly crier. Right, we're going to go for this guy. Right, so, Ross White, thank you very much. You gave me some very useful information a couple of weeks ago. Um, and we are going to name this new duplicate after you. So, we've got Ross and... Can I do it doesn't quite let you finish. To go like that. Nope, still not let me finish. Is that... Uh, surely I can have a longer name than this. 
I. No, it's not letting me put an I in here. I think maybe this name is already long enough. Nope. Okay, T and I, it's not letting me do because it doesn't... Um, this is going to be very difficult. How do I do a Ross White when I can't use the letters T or I? <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, that's brilliant, that is. That is absolutely brilliant. So I want to go in there and I it's, it's overlaying the keyboard and it's not letting me do it. Yeah. And I try that one again. Oh, no, now it's working. You've got to do it a couple of times each time. There we go. So then it will actually allow me to do it. This is very peculiar, this is. It really is. Right, Ross White. We've done that one. So now I can print him. And he should come in. Uh, that was my attack tool that was highlighted. And Ross White is going to come in. And then I'm actually going to go to jobs here. And I want to assign someone into construction. They're just... They're going to be... Construction is going to kind of be their main task. Uh, combat aid, massage, combat research, uh, compost rather, sweep, oh build, there we go, build, so who's our best builder, it looks like Jean is actually our best builder, and that is a level 9 chef, so I'm going to remove dig from Jean, and harvest and mop, and I will keep maintenance, I will remove disinfect, power can stay, hydro fan, compost, cooking can stay, Remove combat aid massage. Actually, I keep combat in there. Um, and I'll remove power. So we've got maintenance, sweep, build, and deliver. Because I don't always have stuff to build. So Gene should now come down and sort of prioritize this. Right, so now we've got our water sieve. This one, this is still saying pipe blocked. Why are we still got a pipe blocked? It should now all be running through. Let me go to plumbing. I've got plumbing coming out. It goes over there and it runs from there and over and down onto this one. This is the building input and then that is the building output there. And then that runs down and that goes through. So it goes from that one. That does seem... It does seem to be lavatory ready, contents empty. Right, that's gone through. This is still saying pipe blocked. It might just be because it's not taking any water through at the moment. Uh, liquid bridge. Contents empty currently. And then we've got this one here. Water sieve. Produces clean water. Uh, sieves cannot kill germs. And we'll pass some into both the water and waste they output. So, oh, this one needs power. I can easily do power a minute. I can run power in... Oh, I don't want to do it like that. I want to do it like that. There we go. So they'll run power into that one, and I've already got um, water running into that one. It was the wrong thing. I didn't actually mean to press it, but this is the consumables. This is what they will consume. Uh, right, stress levels here. So Nisbet the Runner is in 55% stress. Stress levels are actually coming down. We're improving the stress levels. Patreo is rather stressed at the moment. I apologize for that, Patreo. Um, you, you've been good to us. You have helped us out, but you're starting to get stressed. Right, so we're going to quickly build in that one, and we should have a whole system up and running. There we go. That one's now running. That is producing oxygen and hydrogen using water. And then this one here produces dirty... Um, produces dirty something. Dirty... Uh, not um, Polluted dirt. It produces polluted dirt. That's what it produces. Right, so it produces polluted dirt, but it also produces water. And then the water goes here into the electrolyzer and it pushes out. So we've got this one here. And that should now be working. So the lavatory seems to be ab absolutely fine. Everything seems to be working with lavatory. The only thing that I actually want to do now is I want to get... I want to try and do this before I go, actually. I've got medicine here. I've got another one. I've got a taste... Uh, apothecary produces medicine to cure the most basic of diseases. Um, and we've got the sink, removes germs, the apothecary. We're starting to do better in here. We really are. I don't want to... I, I really want to, um, like, just finish the last couple of little bits. Because what I want to do is I want to put a pump in here into the dirty water area. And then pump it straight up into that up there. Um, I'm wondering how I could do that. And I've got the... Sound, I, I think I can just do it like this. Not power. Um, here. I want to go to here. I think I can just drop the um, that one into there like that. And then I can take plumbing and I can go for a liquid pipe 
And that one will come out of there, and I can join that straight into there. I don't need to do anything else there. I do need a power supply for this one as well, and that will come out of that side. And now where can I put power? If I go under there, is that going to be in the way? I think I need to actually do power like that so that it can get through. Potential power consumed 1.3 kilowatts. Is that too much? Oh, I think that's too much. Yeah, I think, I think that's too much power on these pipes. Uh, maximum wattage, 1,000 watts. No research task selected. Let's grab another one. Um, let's just go for brute force refinement. Right, so if their maximum power is being exceeded, does that, how do I need to deal with that? I think... Well, we got a coal somewhere. I've got coal. Oh, there's the coal. That's coal right there. I've got loads of it. Um, there's a burrowed hatch down there. That's a vacuum. I've got to be careful going through here into the vacuum. We're going to deal with that next. I think next time what we're going to do is we're going to try and get a coal power station because I do have one of those there. Uh, power hydrogen generator converts hydrogen gas coal generator. So I can do hydrogen and I can do coal into electrical power. So I'm not just reliant on this. And then I can sort of spread things out a little bit. Um, missing a foundation and then so is the bottle emptier. Uh, the algae terrarium... I'm kind of... Th I'm wondering if I could just remove... Actually, no, I don't need to worry about removing it. What I can do is I can do a tile there, and I can do a tile there like that. I can put two tiles in there. They will build those just right. They'll also build that one in, and I should be able to get the liquid pipe going in there. Yes. So everything will get all of the different bits that it needs. The toilet is being used. That is currently processing there, and that's producing more oxygen. And... They've got their bases in there, so all we need is just for this liquid pump here to be constructed, and then it will go into here into the water sieve. Um, I think we're doing really, really well. I'm really pleased with this. We're making fantastic progress here. The only issue we've got, I think, is a long-term supply of water. That's going to be our main issue, is this long-term supply of water that we don't currently have. i got more oxalite in that back there. Right, the pump is working. That is now pumping that through big time. It's really going for it. Look at this. That is brilliant. Um, oxygen, power, temperature, thermal, light, plumbing. There we go. That's pumping dirty water all the way through. That's running continuously. It's ain't quite blocked, but that's only because it's blocked over there. Um, what does that mean? Why? Repair task? Oh, it's a repair task. Right, um... Oh, hang on, no, the, the wire is, is... I think it's the wire. The wattage for the wire is too much. Germ overlay. This is going to be bad, isn't it? That's not too bad at all, really. I mean, we do have some germs kicking around, but overall, the germ overlay is not too bad. Uh, let me just go to uh, light, no thermal, power overlay here. Right, this where it's all flashing red is indicating that we have got... Uh, flashing yellow. Circuit status. Yeah, we've potentially got too much power coming through, haven't we? I'm not really sure. There is, like, upgrades to power that we can do. We'll see. That is all I got time for today. I've got some... I've got someone's idle. You can't be idle. I need showers. That's what I need. So I need to do showers. I need to sort of work on sorting out the oxygen supply over this side. We're going to start looking at gas and things like that. I've got water up here that I can come to a little bit later on because this water is not going to last us forever. We can start mining out coal down here. I've got polluted oxygen down there and nothing else. That's all chlorine gas in there. I've got water in here. I've got polluted water there. And I've got a load more polluted water up here and here. So I'm, I've got water. The water is available. And we've now got water filtration units that are available that we can use. So water is not really going to be a major issue for us. It's just something that's going to take us a little bit of time to get to. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.